Hi, Todd again, and I wanted to do a quick video, part two, on the uh, wind turbine tower. Uh, as you can see, the other tower base is here, and the tower has been removed, and how I did it is actually fairly simple. Uh, if you look at that tractor up there, I just simply uh, pull the tractor up to the, uh, to the tower with a bucket. Raise the bucket up as high as he would go and turned it so, you, so both ends of the bucket were kind of flat against the, uh, uh, the uh, tower. And then just tip the tower over into it and then just back the, the tractor out while I kept adjusting the angle until I just I was able to lay it down uh, really nice and slow. Uh, so sorry about that. So he wouldn't, uh, you know, come crashing down. So if you're a one person, you know, shop kind of like I am now, since uh, my uh, old, oldest son, uh, you know, is away and he's uh, he's got his life now. So that kind of leaves me uh, to figure out things on my own. So uh, that's how I did it. Now I'm gonna pour uh, the concrete into that hole. It takes about 20 minutes to dig about a three foot hole. Uh, if the if the soil is kind of moist like it is here, we have a uh, Some trees over here that I, I got a plant. Uh, I'm gonna start planting some this weekend so we have a uh, uh, Some uh, what do you call a sprinkler and the excess from the sprinkler lands over here So that keeps that dirt nice and moist and I was able to uh, uh, Make that hole rather quickly. So it's three feet deep about 15 to 16 inches across. That's what you need for that tower um, I'm gonna use that uh, concrete mixer that I bought from Harbor Freight about six years ago. I paid $99. Uh, it was on sale back then with a 20% off discount. And uh, so for you know for $99, man, I poured the concrete base for that one. I poured concrete base for the other one. I poured concrete base for another antenna which has my Wi-Fi for my internet. Uh, I mean, I've poured a lot of concrete with that thing, so it, it's been working out pretty well. And so those are the uh, concrete bags. I got seven 80-pound uh, concrete bags uh, here, and I got a few more in that one other storage building that you see way back there. Uh, so if I need some more, uh, you know, I'll go get them. I don't think it's going to take ten. I think I, uh, I stated that wrongly last time. I think what we used was seven. Uh, last time or what I used was seven last time so anyways uh, let me go ahead and get started and then I'll uh, come back and uh, talk some more about it thanks all right so I poured uh, a bag of concrete in there already and uh, I'll show you kind of what that looks like uh, the drum is uh, dirty and it's empty now and you might be able to see there's some concrete there at the bottom so that's uh, that's kind of how we get started, and uh, I'll go ahead and show you uh, pretty much how I do it. Um, let's start with the water first, I guess. I use a, uh, the wine that my wife uses for her plants, but essentially what I do is I just pour water in there until it touches that, that rim that you see there, the black rim, and it extends a little bit over it. It's not much, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and put the camera back in its place. And uh, you're gonna uh, probably not gonna be able to hear me very well uh, because the microphone in this cheap camera it's not all that great. But you'll see kind of the process on how to use one of those uh, cement mixers and and then get it going. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So you want to go ahead and turn it on first.
But you pour it in kind of slowly so it has time to mix and it doesn't cake up on you. It doesn't get all the big clumps. And uh, you kind of see the consistency, that's pretty good. Uh, I like my concrete a little soupy because uh, the water will evaporate and uh, it flows really well in between uh, all of the uh, rebar uh, that that tower has so I get good flow all the way down to the bottom of the hole and uh, once that dries up it's gonna use the same amount of volume the same amount of concrete if you put you know as if you put it with less water so it's uh, you know don't let anybody tell you otherwise I've, I've poured I don't know a hundred yards of concrete probably already uh, all the way around between all the paths that I do for the uh, greenhouse and stuff like that so uh, I kind of know a thing or two about it and so that's already mixed up pretty well. Let me see if I can continue to keep my camera in hand and show you what I'm doing. So now you just pull back on this lever here and that turns it over so you can flow it into the hole as you can see. And that's all she wrote. And if you look back here, there's a, a set of uh, a teeth uh, on that wheel and then over here and uh, it's like a rack and pinion uh, thing there's a rack right here and all you gotta do is grease that up once in a while and uh, she'll last you probably forever or at least until that motor burns out so now all you gotta do is go back to the water pour that water back in there like we did earlier wait till you get to the top of that mark there and exceed it just a little bit that's probably good right there and now we're good to go for the next bag so uh, I'll come back once everything is poured and uh, we'll continue uh, the video thanks God bless well it's done uh, I poured the remainder of the concrete and it took uh, almost seven bags of concrete uh, to finish it up and you can see that that's all poured out so uh, I already cleaned up the uh, the mixer and uh, when you clean the mixer uh, you know make sure you run a lot of water in it get it nice and clean and then turn it upside down and store it upside down so water doesn't get in it and doesn't uh, rust out and you know get a hole inside so just kind of take care of your tools that way uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna re-verify the level here uh, so let me switch to the close-up mode here because it's not a, a the greatest camera in the world and uh, you can see the level there and then if we look at it from the other side there's a level that way so this is a uh, you know pretty well leveled all the way through uh, we don't need perfection but we need to be you know pretty good uh, all the way through so there's there's that one and then if we cross and move it around to the other side let me see where that is right here so it looks good, nice and level, I like it. Uh, so this tower is ready to go. I did not get a chance, or I'm not gonna get a chance this weekend to actually uh, build that other tower all the way up and put the wind turbines on it because as you can uh, maybe tell, it's windy and it's going to rain. And my yard looks like heck. So I'm gonna put the, uh, uh, the cultivator tines on my tractor and I'm gonna rip all of that and then uh, I'm gonna plant grass seed uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna rip it first slightly probably about two three inches and then I'm gonna wait for the rain and after the rain goes by and the wind dies down I will spread the uh, the grass seed and the fertilizer on it and, and then uh, run the uh, the uh, landscape rake on it and hopefully we're gonna have some nice pretty grass again so that's taking uh, some time this weekend. I also want to make another tray uh, the, for the IBC tote tray that uh, I was talking about in some of my other videos for the uh, uh, the aquaponic system. You can see that I got the tray in there now. And so that's going to go up and I'm going to make a video of that today of that. So that's a today project. Yesterday I added another outlet there. Before I put the tray in, I had to kind of go to town and get a cover, uh, a weather cover and another outlet for that. So uh, that's uh, another project for this weekend. And then I got to uh, go ahead and uh, process uh, at least one goat that uh, 
the big one that you see there that's gray uh, she's fully mature and but she never goes in heat uh, so she has some kind of hormonal problem and she's just eating food for no reason so she's gonna go in the freezer and uh, so all that stuff takes time and I'm not gonna therefore uh, raise the tower on the wind turbine what I will do though is make another video because I'm going to be modifying the wind turbines this weekend with a taller tail so they'll track better into the wind so I will make a video of that and show you so hopefully next weekend everything will be ready to go the wind turbines will have their tails on it and then next weekend all I gotta do is go ahead and slap the uh, sections that I need to onto those towers put the turbines on top and it's uh, go go time so thanks everybody for watching god bless and take care